What are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about, my people, my people? Santa Domingo, Biantini, they have great burgers. I know you're surprised. Or maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, they have great burgers. So I'm sharing with you. I'm going to review five places that have burgers, burgers, burgers. Piccolo Club, Rolling Steaks and Burgers, Palcaso, Barapayan, and Man Up and Cook. Burgers, that's what we're going to talk about. So let's do it, people, let's do it. Starting with, well, Rolling Steak. Rolling Steak and Burgers. Rolling Steak and Burgers is located in Blue Mall. That's where I had my burger, anyway. I also had it delivered to my house, which was very convenient and still very yummy. I had the Silvestre Burger. It was delicious. It had some sort of garlic mayo salsa on it with bacon, caramelized onions, mozzarella cheese, delicious. And it comes with like thin fries, you know, the skinny fries, like pseudo McDonald type fries. Very tasty, very tasty. Great burger, I suggest you try it. Delicious, very delicious. Not too expensive, about 350. It's about $7 and no drink is included. Burger on my list is Piccolo Club. Another very tasty burger. All the burgers come with like a slaw, like it's a little bit spicy. The burger I had though was Explosion and it was extra delicious. It had egg, tocino, cheese, some special sauce they made up, I don't know what it's called. A rather nice size burger, probably eight ounces or more. Very good burger. Not the best quality beef, I would say, but it didn't matter because all that other stuff was going together to make it pretty delish. Pretty delish. So there we go. Piccolo burger. I would suggest it. It's not expensive either. It does come a la carte, so the burger is going to be around starting at about 250 upwards to 400 depending on which one you get. And drinks were reasonable, but the fries are separate. Yes, they're not included. That would be Piccolo Club. It has a nice garden, too. It's like a little garden area. Next on my list, Barapayan. Barapayan is an old chain that's been around. It's all over Santa Domingo because I actually went to a different one in a different area. But these are in Piantini. It's a very cheap burger. Very thin burger. Very cheap. Price-wise, perfecto. Taste-wise, it can get by. Like if you want to and you're hungry and you just want to get your little groove on and have a burger for real, real cheap, that's the place. It's about $3 for a burger, a drink, and french fries. They don't kill you with french fries, so you can literally count them on your plate. Maybe there's like 10 or 15. So that's payan. Bara payan. And I just had a basic cheeseburger, nothing special. Mostly locals eat there. I'm not even going to like, you know, it's a local place. Local. And it has other sandwiches too. Very tasty. Very tasty. Lots of cheese. They put cheese on everything. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. The next place is Man Up and Cook. Wow. Can I just tell you, it took me about 20 minutes to find it, first of all, because it's sort of like off the, like in a corner alley kind of a thing. And it does not look like a restaurant. It looks like a car garage. And you order your burger inside of a office, just a very normal office. You wouldn't understand like why I'm in, even in there ordering a burger. She hands you a menu and you order your burger. And then you sit on a chair, one chair that is sitting like in the little open area. And I waited about, I don't know, 10 minutes for my burger. I did not buy French fries. And this is probably one of the more expensive burgers I ever bought. It was very, very tasty. It had arugula, goat cheese, caramelized onions, bacon. Very tasty. However, very expensive. Very expensive. And there was no way to sit there and eat it either. So I had to take it while well, I was on my way somewhere else. So I had to take it to where I was going, sit down for a minute and eat it, and then continue on my day. It was a very tasty burger. About 9 to $10, that my particular choice. 
and um, yeah, that was a good experience. Burger wise, the store and the restaurant is really non-existent, but the burger was very tasty. Very tasty. My last place, my favorite place, was Palcaso. The atmosphere in there is very quaint, very cool. The service and the people that worked there were so friendly, very cool. I mean, seriously, if I still lived in Piantini, I would probably be eating there on a regular basis, even though I shouldn't be eating hamburgers on a regular basis. But the atmosphere and the people were superb, very nice. I had a pal onion mushroom burger. Very tasty, very, very tasty. And again, the french fries were separate. While I was there, it started to rain and the sun did go down, so I had the daytime slash nighttime experience in their garden area where um, you sit. It's only opened outside. There's no inside restaurant experience, which means no air conditioning. They had fans, fans blowing, but it happened to be cool that night, so I wasn't really worried about it. And I could take a lot of heat anyway. Uh, burger I had had caramelized onions, cheese, tocino, and mushroom saute and the burger quality was very 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 good very good and it was made to order which was shocking it was made like i said medium rare and it actually came medium rare so can't complain it feels like it's been a long day i was exploring a coffee shop which I could not find but I did go to Starbucks and now I am having a burger and this will be the last burger place I'll review before I leave San Domingo. That's it my people. I hope you check out these places and I hope you enjoy your burger as much as I enjoyed mine. Thanks for coming.